Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 3, data handling, question number 13 to 20 of SOF International Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. The first section is everyday mathematics, question number 13. If the arithmetic mean, arithmetic means it is a mean, average, of runs scored by Rohan in 11 matches is 49. Then find the run, find the run scored in 11th match. Some data was also given, number of matches, first to 11, run scored 84, 80, 0, and the, in the 11th it is X. That's what we have to find out. Now, total run scored by Rohan in 11 matches, that is equals to arithmetic mean into 11. So, that is 49 into 11, correct? So, 49 into 11, 11 nines are 99, 9 carry over, 11 fours are 44 plus 9, so it is 53. So 539 is the total run scored by Rohan in 11 matches. Now total run scored in 10 matches as per the table. So let's just add up this. Or we can say in 11 matches, we'll add up even plus X as per the table. <clears throat> so it is 84 plus 80. So 80 plus 10, 90. 90 plus 60, 150. Plus 50, 250. 250 plus 100. So 350. 350 plus 20. So it is 370. 370 plus 40 is 410. 410 plus 75. So 485. Now 485 plus 84, this is 0, so it is out. So 5 plus 4, 9, 8 plus 8, 16 plus 1, that is 569. Oh, how come? How can the score is more than this 539? It cannot be. Let's just re recalculate, say 80, 80, 0, so 80, 90, 90 plus 60 is 150, 150, 90 plus 60 is 150 plus 50, so it is 200, 200 plus 100 is 300, 320, 360, 360 plus 75, so 360 plus 75 is 5, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13, so 435. 435 plus 84, 435 plus 84 is 9, 8 plus 3, 11, so 519, so it is 519 plus x, that is the score which is equivalent to 539, therefore x is 539 minus 519, so it is 20, so answer is Answer is A. Next. The player of a cricket team of a society made this course in a one day match as follows. Find the median. Median means middle term. So to find out the middle term, first we have to arrange them in ascending order. So we should start with the smallest one. So smallest one is zero. Next smallest one is after 0, it's a 8. So 8. Then next one is 12. Then next one is 15, 18. Then after 15, 18, next is 23. After 23, there is 27. So 23, 27. Then 29. 
then 35, then 49, then 50, and the last one is the highest one is the 54. So this is in ascending order, and then there's a 63 too. Anyone left out? No one. So this is in the ascending order. Now median is a middle term. So just count how many numbers, how many data is given, observations are there. So this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen is the number of observation. So middle of thirteen means thirteen plus one by two, that is seventh. So seventh is the median. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this one, seven. So seven is twenty-seven. So twenty-seven is the median. Next. Sony has digit cards 1, 4, and 7. C makes two digit number using each card only once. Find the arithmetic mean of all the numbers Sony has formed. So, first of all, we have to find out two digit numbers using the given digits 1, 4, and 7. How many two digit numbers we can form? So, first, 1, 4. Second, one seven, third, four one, next four seven, then seven one and seven four. So we can make it then says six digits. Now we have to find out the arithmetic mean. So just add up total it. So four plus one five, five plus seven, twelve, twelve plus one, thirteen, thirteen plus seven, that is twenty plus four. So it is twenty-four. So four. 2 carry over, 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 8, 12, 12 plus 14. So 12 plus 14 is 2, 6, that is 26. So total score is 264 divided by how many numbers? So 6, that is the mean or you can say arithmetic mean or average. So 264 by 6, so 6 fours are 24, 2 remainder. So, 4 becomes 24, again 4. So, 44. So, answer is A. Next. Shruti chosen, chosen 8 students randomly from her class and recorded the data of their weights in kg. So, these are the data. Find the average weights of the students. So, that means we have to just add up and divide by 8. So, see on an average you can see here it is in the 30, okay. So, don't just add up all. Here it is plus 2, here 0, minus 2. I am just comparing with the 30. So, 30 my, here 32 minus 30. Let me explain here the better way. 32 minus 30, 2. 30 minus 30, 0. 28 minus 30, minus 2. 36 like that 36 minus 30 plus 6 then again 35 so plus 5 again 36 plus 5 plus 5 plus 2 now just add up 2 plus see do this cancel 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 6 11 plus 6 is how much about 5 6 plus 5 11 6 plus 5 again 11 so it is 22 22 plus 2 that is 24 24 divided by 8 so it is plus 3. So just add up 30 plus 3. That is 33. So answer is A. If you total it, it will be 264 divided by 8 will come 33 only. But this is the best way to simply you can do the calculations faster. What I have done? First I have see the data. See so data is in and around 30 only. So I have taken 30. I assume 30 as average initially. So each data how much plus or minus. So here it is plus 2, here it is 0, here it is minus 2, here it is plus 6, plus 5, plus 6, plus 5 and plus 2. I have just totaled it. So it is 24. 24 divided by 8. That is plus 3. That means I have to add this in what I have assumed. So 30 plus 3 is the average weight. Next. 
Rhea throw two dice 11 times simultaneously and noted the sum of outcome of dice 11 10 8 to 10 find the mean median mode of the given data so if you want to find out mode and median just first and foremost write down in ascending order so in ascending order let's start the mini the, the smallest one so it is two the next is three the next is four then six then eight ten ten two times and three times ten so it is ten 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 then there is eleven and then there is two times twelve anyone left out just check so all are covered correct so these are the arrange the data which has been given is arranged in ascending order now first mean so just add up correct so it is 12 plus 12 24 24 plus 11 24 plus 1 is 25 plus 10 25 plus 10 is 35 35 plus 30 so it is 65 65 plus 10 so it is 75 75 plus 10 85 85 plus 3 so it is 88 correct so 88 divided by 11 so that means it is 8 8 is the average so this is the answer mean is 8 so answer is d no need to check median and mode however if you want to check median median means middle term there are 11 terms so 11 plus 1 by 2 that is 6 term is median so first second third fourth fifth and six so 10 is the median and mode number of times how many times frequency which one is more often it is repeated so 10 is three times 12 is two times therefore answer is 10 that's the mode next achiever sections hots high order thinking skill question number 18 the height of 10 students were measured in centimeter and the results are as follows 147 139 152 144 and so on something what is the range in centimeter so range it means it's a maximum minus minimum so which one is the maximum so 147 then 149 166 166 is the maximum minus minimum 139 135 is the minimum 135 135 so 135 is minimum so difference of these two is your range so 166 minus 135 that is 31 31 centimeter is the range so this two so a is out C is out. Now, if you see in second, the answer for B and D is same. That means this answer is 148.6. Don't waste the time to find out. If you sum up and find out the mean height, sum up divided by 10. Okay, if you add, it will be I am sure, pretty sure it will be 1486 divided by 10. Hence, it will be 148.6 centimeter. That's the mean height. But don't waste the time in the exam because the answer is same in here, both the options. So straight away go for third one. Why to waste the time? We have to just find out which option is correct. Correct. So last one. How many students are there whose height is more than the mean height? So mean height is 148.6. We have to count how many students are there whose height is more than 148.6 centimeter. So let's just find out. This is not, this is not, this is not, this is not, this is first. This one is second, this one is third, this one is fourth. 
this one is fifth this one is not there so five so this is the answer this is out so d is out therefore b is the answer next the arithmetic mean of the scores of group of 100 student in a test was 50 that means total score is 50 into 1000 50 into 1000 means it is 50000 correct now the brightest 20 persons of them 20 person of them means 100 student so brightest student score is 20 person means 20 student secured a mean of 70 so it is 70 multiplied by 70 so 20 into 70 20 percent of 100 means it is 20 because it is 20 percent means 20 divided by 100 into 100 100 100 get cancelled correct so 20 into 70 that is 1000 1400 then the less 30 of them secured a mean of 25 so the least student score total score equals to how many students 30 persons of 100 means 30 and they scored 25 so multiply by 25 so 750 the mean score of the remaining 50 persons that means other 50 students so total is 50,000 these two has scored this much so just add up 0 5 2 1 so the the, the remaining is 50,000 minus 2150 just subtract 50,000 minus 2150 so it is 0 here 4 9 9 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 1 is 8 then 9 minus 2 is 7 and 4 so this is the score by that remaining student that is 47,850 or oh, this is 5,000 not 50,000 not 50,000 it is 5,000 15 to 100 is 5,000 so the remaining score, uh, score is 5,000 minus 2150 so here it is 4 9 10 so 0 5 8 2 2850 2850 is the score by remaining 50 students what we have to find out mean score so that means 2850 by 50 0 0 get cancelled now 5 5 is a 25 28 minus 25 is 3 so 5 becomes 35 and 7 5 is a 35 so mean score is 57 that's the answer next the given bar graph shows the demand and production of colored TVs for five companies here is a company a b c d e this this part is demand and this is production okay so number of TVs demand and the production is given of different five companies what is the question what is the difference between average demand and average production of five companies taken together correct so that means we have to take the total that is 3000 plus total demand and total production of five companies so 3000 plus 600 plus 2500 plus 1200 plus 3300 and then we have to find the average divide by five so you will get the average and at the same time we have to find out the average productions we will total up and find out the average and then we'll take the difference that's the one way average student will do okay we will do little bit different smarter way we'll rather than doing all these things we just find the difference of each company 
so 3000 so what we have to find out average demand minus production so demand is this so we'll do 3000 minus 1500 so it is 1500 plus for whom a company then 600 minus 1800 so it is minus 1200 for b company for c company it is plus 1500 2500 minus 1000 that's for c company for d company again 1200 minus 2700 means minus 1000 difference is demand minus production for e company it is 3300 minus 2200 so it is plus 1100 so this is the difference now take the addition do the addition correct say so this 1000 1100 plus minus so net is plus 100 here 1200 minus 1500 plus so net is plus 300 and then add in this one so it is 1500 plus 100 that is 1600 plus 300 so 1900 correct 1900 is the total difference of demand minus production and if you want average divided by how many companies five so 1900 by five that is how much five threes are 1900 and five companies so five threes are Five threes are fifteen, forty, eight, zero, three, eight, zero. Three eight zero is not there. Let's just cross check. Say three thousand minus one thousand five hundred is one thousand five hundred plus demand minus production. Here it is six hundred minus one thousand eight hundred. So it is minus one thousand two hundred. Here it is two thousand five hundred minus 1000 so plus 1500 here it is 1200 oh we did here mistake we take this 1700 so it is 1227 2700 so difference is not minus it is minus 1500 and here it is plus now this minus minus cancel this 1100 and minus 1200 so it is minus 100 and 1500 plus and minus 100 is 1400 so difference is 1400 by 5 so 5 twos are 10 then 40 so 8 and 0 so 280 280 means c Another way, as I said, if you add up the productions, that is productions for company A is 3000 plus production of company B is 600 plus for C it is 2500, for D it is 1200 plus E it is 3300. This is the total productions divided by 5 is average production that will be equals to 9200 by 5 equals to 212120 same way <clears throat> average demand equals to it is 1500 plus 1800 plus 1000 plus 2700 plus 2200 that will equals to 9200 by 5 that is 1 8 
4.40. This is the average demand and average production. So if you take difference 2120 minus 1840, it is 0, 082, 280. The answer is same. That is C. That's another way, but that will take a little bit more time. So that's all about the solutions of question number 13 to 20, chapter number 3, data handling of SOF International Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the red gmail.com. That is v i w t h a l m a c a d m y at the red gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.